when you touch the soil, first you're like, oh my God, oh, oh, there's soil behind my nails. It's an urban community garden where we grow food, where we grow plants for pollinators. We were looking for a new space and it happened to be that this lot was empty. Part of the garden for, I think, three years now. and. I I grew up on the farm. I grew up in a small village on the farm. I'm in Poland. My parents moved to a small town. Then I moved to a big city to study. Then again, I've moved to an even bigger city, which is London. I was by myself. I didn't know anyone. At the point of my life where I was the lowest. Coming here and doing things together with people, making decisions together, taking care of the space, um, which was otherwise unused, unloved. The garden enabled me to finally feel myself, but also actually connect with plants and connect with with actually probably with like with my background. Um, so that was a very safe space. And I've realized that a garden attracts people who are non-judgmental, um, who, yeah, who create that safe space, who um, will support you, but who also um, carry an amazing knowledge. I think it's really nice to work with plants in soil and any form of nature you can find in London. You feel a lot calmer. I can't really like explain this to you like logically but you just feel a bit a bit more kind of centered, grounded. To to the, the more the most yellowy tomatoes, right? But they need to be eaten on the spot. It's it's almost unbelievable that this this just used to be a car park and now look at it. It's like a, a beautiful little hub of nature. Maybe people fed up with concrete, glass, car noise, and etc. and etc. But there's this amazing saying: under the concrete, there is the soil. Mm -hmm. 